But there's been an American nightmare that has accompanied that, and that's where people that equally have tried to get educated and worked hard and had good habits have found themselves living a life that's been on the edge throughout their entire lives and the same for their children. Warren Buffett's remark about many Americans facing the American nightmare instead of the American dream reveals a harsh reality that a significant part of the population has to deal with. This view is supported by insights from various well-known individuals. Let's explore financial data illustrating the widespread economic challenges experienced by Americans. Financial expert Sus Orman has pointed out a concerning statistic. 64% of Americans are currently living paycheck to paycheck, according to a CNBC study. This implies that a large majority of individuals and families struggle to cover essential expenses like groceries. Orman's observation underscores the broad impact of this issue on a significant portion of the American population. Additionally, the statement suggests that an individual's financial situation isn't solely determined by their income level. This sentiment aligns with observations from Dave Ramsey, a widely recognized personal finance expert. Ramsey has encountered cases where individuals achieved substantial savings and wealth despite working minimum wage jobs, while others with high incomes live paycheck to paycheck due to their financial choices. This concept emphasizes that financial security depends not only on income, but also on one's financial decisions. Warren Buffett is often cited as a prime example of achieving financial success through prudent financial management and investment strategies. Despite his considerable wealth, Buffett is known for his frugal lifestyle, showing that accumulating wealth doesn't always require extravagant spending. The statement also refers to Buffett's famous quote, underscoring the importance of generating income while you sleep. If you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. This emphasizes the value of passive income and investments in achieving financial stability and independence. Here are five things that are keeping you poor. Number one, zero balance pitfall. Imagine this situation. You currently have $100 in your bank account. Traditionally, the assumption is that when your bank balance shows $100, you also have the same amount ready to spend. It sounds simple, right? But be careful, as this assumption can lead to significant financial problems. Here's why. When you check your account and see $100, it's tempting to think you can freely spend that entire amount without consequences. However, this belief can be misleading and potentially harmful. The balance in your bank account doesn't always truly reflect your actual financial health. Factors like pending transactions, unpaid bills, or overdraft fees can quickly reduce your available funds. In reality, your real spending capacity depends on more than just your current account balance. To avoid unexpected financial setbacks, it's crucial to closely monitor your account, consider pending transactions and upcoming bills, and keep a financial cushion for unforeseen expenses. So, while you might believe having $100 in your bank account means you have $100 to spend, the reality is more complex. Failing to recognize this can lead to financial difficulties later on. To avoid these pitfalls, Dave Ramsey advises only buying items if you have the cash to pay for them. The key is to build a strong financial position that lets you afford what you want without risking your financial stability. This approach goes against zero balance thinking, which can gradually diminish your wealth. The fallacy of zero balance thinking happens when you wrongly equate your account balance with your spending capacity. It's crucial to understand that financial security or hardship can't be solely determined by income alone. Let's take a look at the example of John Bogle, a highly regarded investor pivotal in establishing Vanguard Group, renowned for advocating low-cost index fund investing. Bogle emphasized the importance of embracing an affordable lifestyle and resisting the allure of extravagant spending. Despite achieving professional success, he adhered to a frugal lifestyle, embodying his belief in balancing spending and saving for financial well-being. Conversely, those with substantial incomes who exhaust all earnings often find themselves mired in perpetual financial insecurity. Whether earning 50K annually and spending it all, or making 80K and utilizing the entire income, the result is essentially living paycheck to paycheck. To break free from this cycle, it's essential to allocate a portion of income for savings and investments. This principle aligns with the age-old adage, pay yourself first, advocated by financial experts such as Robert Kiyosaki, author of the best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Tony Robbins, the renowned life coach and financial educator. 
Prioritizing savings, like the zero balance concept, avoids immediate gratification. Consider a friend who spent a $500 stimulus check on shoes. After receiving a $500 stimulus check due to their company's prosperity, the friend opts to spend the entire sum on a new pair of shoes, missing the opportunity to allocate funds toward wealth building. To avoid a zero balance mindset, follow the simple rule of five. If you can't buy five with cash, you can't afford it. Sound financial decisions rely on simplicity, as Warren Buffett noted, I prefer simpler obstacles. This approach avoids unnecessary complications, paving the way for financial security and freedom. Number two, payment pitfall. Warren Buffett, widely known as the Oracle of Omaha, possesses an impressive talent for simplifying complex financial concepts and offering valuable advice. One crucial lesson he imparted revolves around payment traps, which ensnare many individuals without their awareness. This section will delve into payment pitfalls and ways to steer clear of them. These traps are frequently concealed behind seemingly good deals and the desire to maintain a certain image. Buffett cautions against the misconception that flaunting wealth equates to financial stability. Many people, despite outward appearances, live paycheck to paycheck, drown in debt, and struggle to meet financial obligations. Buffett's famous quote, only when the tide goes out, do you find who's been swimming naked, serves as a potent reminder that appearances can be deceptive. Examining the finances of seemingly affluent individuals may reveal a different reality. They might be heavily indebted and struggling to sustain their current lifestyle. This often occurs when people fall into payment traps in pursuit of low monthly payments. Imagine a friend recently acquired a new smartphone with a $50 monthly payment plan. Initially, this seems reasonable. It appears substantial, but what's often undisclosed is that the phone wasn't paid for all at once. Rather, a long-term agreement was signed. This misleading perception can lead people to overspend beyond their means. By now, pay later schemes employ a similar tactic. These schemes promise the convenience of purchasing items and settling the cost in easy monthly payments. While this might appear attractive, it can create a false belief that one can afford such things, potentially leading to excessive debt. Consider another scenario in online shopping. You come across a tech store offering the best game system for $300, with the option to pay $50 a month for six months. While each monthly payment may seem small, when combined with other monthly bills, it can quickly become overwhelming, trapping you in a cycle of debt. Warren Buffett emphasizes the perils of credit card debt. Many individuals carry significant balances on their credit cards, struggling to meet even the minimum monthly payments, let alone make progress in reducing the debt. This trend can negatively impact your finances and even push you towards bankruptcy. Number three, the power of compounding. Having successfully sidestepped payment traps and embraced a zero balance mindset, the next crucial stride in your financial journey is to tap into the incredible power of compounding. Compounding is a remarkable force with the capacity to exponentially boost your money, allowing you to steadily amass wealth over time. This section will explore the concept of compounding and its potential to propel you towards your financial objectives. Drawing inspiration from the wisdom of Warren Buffett, widely hailed as one of the greatest investors, he possesses a profound understanding of compounding that surpasses many. Buffett consistently underscores the importance of distinguishing between assets and liabilities in wealth creation. Assets are financial tools that generate income for you, such as dividend paying stocks, income yielding real estate, and other investments with a positive return. Conversely, liabilities encompass expenses like purchasing a car, buying clothing, or acquiring gadgets, which deplete funds from your pocket. A common financial blunder is acquiring liabilities that create a false illusion of wealth. People often amass material possessions to project affluence, overlooking that these items can actually be liabilities. Despite their apparent grandeur, these liabilities do not contribute to your financial growth. To fully unleash the power of compounding, redirecting focus from accumulating liabilities to acquiring assets is essential. Possessing income-generating assets empowers your wealth to grow exponentially. The income generated can be reinvested, triggering a compounding effect that accelerates your financial advancement. Let's delve into the tale of an individual facing a challenging choice, whether to buy a fancy car or invest in real estate. Taking cues from the wise teachings of Warren Buffett, the person realized that owning a car might enhance their image, 
but wouldn't pave the way to financial prosperity. Instead, they opted to invest in a small apartment complex. After a month of preparation and successfully securing a tenant, they began generating a consistent profit of $300 per month. This story illustrates how assets can effectively generate passive income. An advantage of compounding is that it can commence with a modest initial investment. While real estate often demands substantial capital, assets like dividend-paying stocks can be acquired with just a few dollars per day, week, or month. Consistency and discipline are crucial. It's vital to recognize that keeping money in a savings account won't lead to wealth accumulation through compounding, as savings accounts offer limited growth opportunities. Your hard-earned income, which isn't infinite, deserves to be invested to grow for you, and assets play a key role in achieving that. To effectively leverage compounding, the 5-1 rule is recommended. Allocate $1 to assets for every $5 spent on liabilities. For instance, if you spend $30 at Amazon, consider investing $6 in Amazon stock. When making a $160 purchase at Home Depot, set aside $32 specifically for investing in Home Depot stock. Number four, extravagant lifestyle. In today's society, social media often showcases a glamorous and extravagant lifestyle, creating an easy allure to the illusion of affluence. Many individuals make considerable efforts and at times accumulate significant debt to maintain a facade of wealth on platforms like Instagram. Warren Buffett's wisdom serves as a reminder that genuine wealth is built through financial prudence rather than extravagant displays. Known as a frugal billionaire, Buffett sets a remarkable example of how a modest and unpretentious way of living can coexist with tremendous wealth. Unlike other high-profile figures, Buffett refrains from showcasing designer brands or indulging in extravagant spending. He exemplifies the principle that appearances can be deceiving and true financial success lies beneath the surface. A crucial lesson from Buffett's approach is the importance of resisting the allure of a flashy lifestyle. While engaging in extravagant spending might temporarily enhance one's reputation, it rarely leads to the actual accumulation of wealth. There are numerous stories of individuals plunging into significant debt just to uphold a facade of luxury on social media. Warren Buffett's lifestyle choices are refreshingly straightforward. He opts for a more modest appearance, steering clear of flashy logos or brands on his clothing. Renowned for his thrifty eating habits, he frequently enjoys budget-friendly meals at fast food establishments. Furthermore, he continues to reside in the same humble abode he bought several years ago. Buffett's lifestyle choices convey a crucial message. True wealth is not defined by extravagant spending, but rather by responsible financial management and wise investments to establish a robust financial foundation. It's essential to resist the urge to chase passing trends or symbols of status. Instead, direct your resources toward long-term goals. To effectively increase your wealth, differentiate yourself from others, and cultivate a mindset that prioritizes long-term financial success. This involves making intentional decisions that prioritize long-term financial stability and future success over temporary gratification. Number five, dilemma of stepping ahead, transitioning from consumer to wealth creator. To gain valuable insights into financial success, let's follow the wisdom of the renowned investor, Peter Lynch. While it's tempting to criticize businesses for their pursuit of profit, it's essential to recognize that each of us is working to safeguard our financial interests through our own distinctive means. Similar to individuals, businesses have a genuine desire to thrive, and this symbiotic relationship drives today's economy. The crucial aspect is that each of us makes our own decisions. We all have the power to buy something or not, but many people struggle to distinguish between likes and needs. Often, we get lost in wanting to buy things we don't truly need. Now is a crucial time for change. The key to feeling rich for the first time is to develop that financial filter and resist the urge to buy something on a whim. As you cut back on unnecessary spending, you'll discover that you have extra money, paving your way to the world of business where your money can grow significantly. But as your wealth begins to take shape, the natural desire is for it to grow even faster. At this stage, you transition from being a customer to a creator, akin to the businesses you've engaged with. Your focus shifts to finding avenues for increasing your income, whether through putting in extra effort at your current job, aiming for promotions, or venturing into side businesses like freelancing or micro-businesses. In this transition, you're not merely a customer. You become a trader and a saver. 
Understanding the dynamics of the money game becomes crucial, with the aim of augmenting your income. Acquiring more money becomes a priority, enabling you to invest in things that expedite your journey to financial prosperity. Franklin D. Roosevelt once wisely stated, What matters is planning. Expecting rain doesn't count. Making circles does. This quote encapsulates the essence of being mindful in safeguarding your financial future. There's no need for blame or excuses. Rather, it's about making decisions that propel you closer to financial freedom, allowing you to concentrate on life's essential aspects. Let's progress, expand our financial circles, and ensure a brighter future. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Until the next time, bye.